Hey YouTube, it's your boy, Super Scooter Guy, coming at you with another moto vlog. And today, what I want to talk about are um, kind of some of those cons of riding um, when it comes to, I guess, comparatively to driving uh, in a car. Um, so, in my previous video, I discussed some of the pros, um, and for me, there's also you know sometimes you run into those cons where it feels as if like riding is more of a burden um, over just kind of hopping in a car and kind of getting where you got to go um, particularly for me when I do ride and I actually know I'm intending to do a vlog you know sometimes I think about the time it takes for me to actually get prepared to get on the bike and get going comparatively to if I was just getting ready to drive so, you know, getting to my bike, um, my bike is in a public area, it's in a public lot um, where I live. So, you know, I have to get there, I have locks on the wheels, locks, um, even a chain when necessary. So, you know, you gotta get over there, unhook that, and then um, I have my Sony action camera attached with a GoPro mount to my helmet. So then I kind of need to make sure I get that attached, put the microphone into the camera, um, you know, getting your gloves on and getting it off the center or side stand. All that can sometimes take two to three-ish minutes compared to just getting in the car and going. Um, I also have a remote starter on my car, so sometimes I'm also, you know, pre getting it ready before I even get into the car. So by the time I'm ready to go, it's already warmed up at the temperature I wanted to be at. <laughs> so in the winter, we got the heater on. Summer, I got the AC on, and it's comfortable before I even get into the car. So like, sometimes those are cons. Um, particularly if I know I'm going a pretty short distance. It feels like it's just easier to, to ride in the car. Um, another thing is obviously watching the weather. I feel like I'm hypersensitive to the weather now. Um, sometimes I'm kind of like literally looking at my phone on the radar map and like literally trying to figure out specifically like where the precip is coming um, based on where I'm, you know, headed. So that can be a struggle because oftentimes like you want to ride but then you can't, you know, it's, you know, sometimes they're talking about 40, 50, 60 percent chance. So then you're like, uh, do I chance that? Get myself caught up in something pretty heavy. Um, I really like to ride in the rain. So, you know, for me, it's kind of like, is it, is it even worth getting prepped to go out, even if there's like the potential? So, you know, if they're saying 20, 30, I'll definitely go out like percentage wise, but when it's starting to talk 50, 60, 70%, you know, then you know you're probably gonna get caught up in something even if it's not raining at the exact moment um, so those are kind of some some pretty big cons to me um, obviously when you're actually in the ride so people don't see you so you know you're hyper sensitive hyper defensive at least I am um, I'm not one of those bikers who like to weave in and out and switching lanes all the time like I usually stay in a lane and keep there pass when I need to pass um, to kind of defend myself against unnecessary um, risk so all of that are in some ways cons where when you're driving you're a little less concerned because you do have the cage around you of course that could also be a pro because again you are hypersensitive so now you're you're probably driving and riding more defensively in both realms when you both ride and when you drive so uh, in a way that's also a pro um, but for you you know again leave comments below what are your cons of riding comparatively do you sometimes just really forego the bike even if you wanted to just for the convenience and quickness of getting into the car um sometimes i actually wish i didn't have a car i think i live in the wrong area to unfortunately not have a car um, if i ever move down south somewhere where it's always sunny or like cali or something i think maybe i would potentially forego a car and just rent cars or zip car it when i actually need it four wheels but you know i don't i live in massachusetts where it snows a lot and there's a lot of time of the year where you cannot ride and it, at that point it becomes 
more advantageous to also have the car. And also my car has been paid off, so there's no point in me not kind of having it. So, okay, and I just want to know, from your point of view, what are your cons of riding? And do you feel like they outweigh the negatives? Leave comments below. It's been real, y'all. Deuces. Yeah, you hear that, right? <laughs> we out.